Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be looking at a David versus Goliath type fight. I always say this when it comes to self defense, technique will always be king regardless of the size of the aggressor or the opponent. So, uh, whether it is self defense or uh, discipline against discipline, technique is king. People will tell me then why is there uh, weight categories? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because at the highest level, at the elite level, anything plus will become a huge advantage against the grappler. So to give anyone uh, a fighting chance to be world champion, uh, continental champion, Olympic champion, you have to divide into weight categories to have uh, an equal chance for everyone, bigger grappler or smaller grappler. But that's again between each other at the highest level. Um, however, when it comes to MMA or anything else, technique will always be king. So today we're going to be going back to the Spanish championship and here you see uh, a Gracie Jiu Jitsu um, fighter against a 120 kilogram kickboxer, uh, literally double the weight and two meters tall or over two meters tall. And you're going to see exactly what leverage can do once you know how to apply it. And again, technique is amazing and it is the most important thing so he jabs and then goes for the legs very classical approach uh, once you want to close the distance from your fc1 even before he is going for the legs and trying in order to collapse them to get him on the ground and from there to initiate all the grappling that he needs and puts him uh, in his uh, comfortable zone rather than to stay standing and grapple uh, and strike. So this one is called Morote Gari. I've shared this countless times and it is about reaping both legs. You don't pick someone up with this technique. You just pull them towards you and you go in and they will collapse because you're removing underneath them their legs. So it's either one or two legs. So uh, here what he wants to do of course is to get him down, which he did. And then from there, he wants to get on top in order to exercise that leverage and get on top because from this position, his weight or height do not matter. And of course, his striking, which is his specialty. So that's heading for a very good start, classical elements of judo. And you will see the fight will end quickly and in a very predictable manner. So what he wants to do is, of course, liberate that leg from the middle and get a completely dominant position so he is striking and trying to do whatever it takes in order to free that leg up which he did by a knee slice and then gets in a mounted position and either you have a submission option or ground and pound so this is Tate Shiho Gatami any decent judo black belt with good Neiwaza foundation they will have these sequences that you are seeing in front of you this is classical groundwork of jiu-jitsu that will take you very far regardless of the level and regardless of the competition and of course regardless of the weight and strength so you get on top and here their options are severely limited you have the ground limiting them from the back and you are limiting them from the front and of course there's no striking from here unless uh, you've seen that fight recently. So uh, he bumps and again uses his uh, weight, but uh, in order to not get his back taken, he turns around and he is put in this position. So this is uh, Yoko Shihokatame, known as side control. And from here you have many grips. You can grab between the legs and the trousers, the skirt, or you can grab the head and the arm uh, it's also called Mune Gatame, but it is the same. Uh, from Kodokan terminology, it's all Yoko Shiho Gatame. So from this position, you are very strong, you are very dominant, and you can do an endless uh, number of techniques. And also you can strike from this position. It's a very dangerous position, and there is all the leverage that you need. Uh, and uh, as you see, the height and the weight of the kickboxer really do not matter once he is put in this uh, position. So from here, 
he will easily finish the fight but you have to understand that Yokushi Ogatame has a lot of intricacies so for example here you see blocking with the knees in order to prevent that turn towards you and having any type of space so they can uh, insert their leg or their arm and escape from this pin so uh, here you see um, he is in a very good position once he gets back on mount and he is striking hopefully get the knockout so he goes sideways or trying to go sideways and gets that shin on the stomach and goes back to side control and here he gets attempts to back into the mount but he is setting up uh, an arm bar it's very clear so from you from here you see that the transition between these positions is very common and uh, it's the concept known as around the world so whatever they're giving you you work with it and you change position accordingly uh, in order to not be stubborn in a position and you know lose all the control that you have so uh, kashiwazaki was actually very good in this position the mount position um, he was known for his groundwork and also sacrificing throws so uh, he was very dangerous on the ground the 80s it was a great time uh, for Newaza in judo so uh, here the fight as you can see it's almost done the kickboxer has nothing left so turns around very classical elements gets the tap juji gatame or an arm bar probably the first technique you'll learn as a white belt in jiu-jitsu as you can see size strength weight height difference nothing mattered all that mattered was you know technique is king uh, classical fight between pure grappling and pure uh, striking so this technique will take you very far it's one of my favorites and it is very efficient and you saw ronda rousey just made absolute hell in the ufc and back in the day so um these, uh, these fights, I really enjoy them. Now everything is so well structured. Of course, at the highest level, you have to do this, but from time to time, it's very good to see this. So uh, open weight categories in judo are deeply missed and for a very good reason, because you tend to see this type uh, of fights and these types of uh, techniques and I would say miracles as well. So this Sukuinage was something that is gorgeous. So. Uh, if you have anything to add, let me know down below. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.